hey what's up everybody so today i have a little special kind of vlog so we are in richland jones airport in oklahoma so definitely not new jersey i can tell you that uh and the reason why i am here is because i'm taking this beautiful thing back to new jersey um atlantic cape community college a uh, college i previously attended just leased this plane and they called me to come down here and pick it up and bring it back to new jersey i'm going with one of the professors tim swick he is pretty much in charge of the whole aviation program um so it's going to be really fun with him Riverside Tower Information, Romeo, 1953 Zulu, wind 1703, visibility 10, light rain, few clouds 2,800, 3,600 scattered, ceiling 8,000 broken, temperature 31, dew point 25, altimeter 2985, visual approach and use, landing departing, runway 1 and right, runway 1 and left. All departing aircraft, contact ground control for clearance and taxi instructions, arrivals, contact also approach on 124.0. Advise on initial contact, you have Romeo. Clearance Skyhawk November 987 Foxtrot Alpha has an IFR flight plan to Kilo Bravo Foxtrot Romeo. November 987 Foxtrot Alpha Riverside ground cleared to Bravo Foxtrot Romeo via radar vectors, Tulsa VOR, Victor 14, Adair intersection, Adair spelt Alpha. Delta, Alpha, India, Romeo, then direct. Maintain 2,500. Expect 7,010 minutes after departure. Delta departure frequency 124.0. Squawk 1117. There's 50, 60. Gonna relax. Sixty-five. Seventy. And we're off. Pulse of departure, Cessna 987 Fox Alpha is with you out of uh, 1,800 for 2,500. 987 Foxtrot Alpha, Delta Departure, Radar, Contact, Turn Left, Heading to Zero, Nadar Zero, Climb and Maintain 4. Uh, 882. Man at 4-4, Departure, Radar, Contact, Cancel, it's 5 RC, Maintain via Fire Reset, Transponder, Squawk. And we're on our way to Bedford, Indiana. Should be there in about three and a half hours. Good to uh, fuel up, look at the weather, and go from there. Uh, we might keep going, or we might call it when we get there, we'll see. Alright guys, we're an hour away from five, six, five, our Charlie first contact. landing so airport. Two, seven, three, five. One of you can see that. So a little less than an hour away. Uh, the plan is we're probably just going to fuel up, stretch out, eat, and then probably just full send it. Oh wow, an actual city. Oh wow, yeah. Skyhawk 7 Fox Alpha is on a right downward runway, uh, eight, runway 1 8 and devious. All right, guys, um, we're in Illinois. Uh, gonna quickly fuel up and then we're out of here. Um, yeah, it, it's a long day, but gotta get the job done. All right, see ya. All right, so what I'm doing is uh, gonna fill up our plane and then we're gonna sit in the FBO, uh, discuss where we're gonna be going next. Um, 
it's been a long day. We uh, got up at four in the morning, headed to Philly at five, and we took off from Philly at 6.30. Didn't get to Oklahoma until like 11. Um, the goal was to be up in the air around one, maybe sooner, but uh, there was some insurance problems. And um, so we didn't get up until like four. So kind of just, kind of just screwed it up a little bit. to the hotel we are not flying hey good morning everybody as you can see I have a little bit more energy um, yesterday was just a really long day uh, so got in some you know got some sleep in uh, we're gonna be taking off probably within the next hour and a half Tim and I are gonna grab breakfast once we go downstairs uh, gonna make an IFR flight plan. I'm gonna make a video about filing an IFR flight plan just to kind of show you guys what goes on the questions that they ask. Um, it's pretty interesting and then we got to pick up a clearance since we're in an uncontrolled airport we got to pick the clearance through a cell phone and call them and they got to tell us all this stuff but I'm gonna make that a totally separate video. Um, but we're gonna be going uh, to an airport in West Virginia uh, it's called North Central West Virginia. So basically the name says exactly where we're going to be going. And I'm going to put it up right in here on what it looks like. And then from there, we're going to make our way to Atlantic City. Pretty good day. Um, yeah, and this flight has been really, really interesting. Uh, Tim and I, we had to really work on knowing the GPS from the air. <laughs> um, like one, for instance, uh, when we're trying to, when we filed this flight plan, they said, all right, we can go direct to our airport now. And we were like, looking at the GPS, looking at the GPS, hitting all these buttons. And we're like, ah, we're not, we're still not going direct. Like, you know, what's going on? So we just put it in the iPad and we're like, all right, we'll just follow this. <laughs> Here, there's a little button on the right side that was like faded out and it had a little D next to it. I mean, this thing was like that big, but hey, we figured it out. But, um, you know, that happens in a plane that you have never seen, never flown. Um, but, you know, we had to fly this thing and get to New Jersey pretty quick. So you gotta do what you have to do and you just learn on your feet and go from there. Alright guys, we are in Cincinnati right now. There it is. Uh, like right over there. Uniform 1553 meter our observation. When calm, visibility 10. Sky clear. Temperature 27, 2.17. Altimeter 3028. Arriving aircraft to expect visual approaches runway 21. Notice to airmen, use caution for multiple power lights out of service in the immediate vicinity of Clarksburg Airport. All aircraft advise on initial contact to evade a uniform. Tower, Skyhawk November 987 Foxtrot Alpha, inbound on Park at 3000. Tesla 987 Foxtrot Alpha, Clarksburg Tower, runway 21, clear to land wind 0504.
All right, just landed in uh, West Virginia, all fueled up. Now we're on our way to Atlantic City, our home stretch. Looking at about a two and a half hour, three hour flight. Filed an IFR flight plan again. About to open it in about 10 minutes and go from there. This is a pretty cool airport. Fox file Alpha Clear to the Alpha Charlie Yankee Airport as filed on departure. Fly runway heading maintain 4,000, expect 7,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 121.15, Squawk 5731. All right, cleared to uh, ACY as, to, as filed, maintain 4,000, 4, expect 7,000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency 121.15, Squawk 5731. Seven five Alpha, right deviation approved. When clear weather, clear direct Leah and advise. All right, when clear, direct Leah and then advise. Seven five Alpha. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I got it. I got the lights. 605, you're clear to the middle of the airport. It'll be heading a sign by the tower. Because right a little bit. Autopilot's on. Over there. Maintain 2,000. You can expect 2,000 as your final altitude. Departure's 124.6, squawk 5354. guys we landed in Atlantic City um, we used the autopilot to land just we really wanted to test it out it worked okay wasn't bad what do you think autopilot it was okay it was better than most of them that I've seen yeah for, for general aviation airplanes it was okay all right guys that's it for me um, I had a great time with Tim uh, we learned a lot about that plane in two days of flying it uh, it's a phenomenal plane, um, super clean, instruments work very well. Um, I hope whoever flies it next, you enjoy it. And yeah, I mean, uh, that's all I really have. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.